When I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. He cut off the heads of 131 men. Hey everybody, Jerry Williams, AK Greater Saving here. Thanks for stopping by. Well, it looks like the on-site portion of the final experiment is coming to a close. I just saw a bit of the latest live stream that Jaron did, which he said would be his last one because an on incoming storm was making them leave earlier than planned. Apparently, it was leave now or stay another six days. Now, what I find interesting is how bothered Jaron seems in his video. He says Antarctica is somewhere no one should go, a, a God-forsaken place, which seems to be a big contrast to how he and the others spoke of Antarctica a couple of days ago. I can't help but wonder, <laughs> and this is pure speculation on my part, but I wonder if he's upset because the storm didn't come earlier, early enough that th they wouldn't be able to see and record a 24-hour sun, because you know that was the best case scenario for them, right? They get down there and they're told, you, you shouldn't go out, uh, the weather is bad, and you, you can go set up your cameras, but you have to come back in and, oh, the cameras got knocked over. Uh, sorry, we know it's only been one day, but you have to leave now. The storm is coming is so bad that uh, this is our only window. <laughs> oh my God, they would have died from the happiness. But no, everything was great. Everyone got great footage, great data. Everyone experienced the 24-hour sun for themselves. And now, the storm comes. They could have returned to their internet homes, heroes of the highest order. They would be raking it in effortlessly. Now, now they have to work for it. Now they have to fight off the naysayers, the people calling them shills, suckers, marks, and betrayers of the faith. Now, they're, they're going to do it. They're going to twist and bend and lean into the magic-based pseudoscience uh, more than ever. And they're going to lean on the other conspiracies, the other things that they are lying to us about. It will take some work, but they'll keep bringing in the money. Because that's what it's all about. They don't have any other options. Bullshit is their only marketable skill. What else are they going to do? Okay, moving on. So I wanted to share with you that I received uh, GPS tracking files from uh, Critical Think the other day. And I went ahead and imported that file into Google Earth to show the path on a globe. Now, there's a link in the description to download that file and do it yourself. I've also put in that same folder all the GPS files from my Southern Hemisphere flights several years back. Some of you expressed the, the desire, the ability to plot all this on a Gleason's map. Uh, I know Jesse Kozlowski did that with my files some years back, so if you wish to do so with these files, please feel free. Now, uh, this isn't the GPS that Duffy gave everyone. This is the one that uh, CT brought on his own so he could download and send me the file. You can see here, there's a, a lot of info. I don't really recommend giving people your GPS data. Here we can see him traveling around in Chile for a while before the flight. Then, of course, here's the flight itself. And then, here he is walking around in Union Glacier uh, for a day or so. Good stuff. Now, because I can be as petty as the next guy, I thought I would take a moment to acknowledge some of the people struggling in the comments. First one, however, is not actually struggling in the comments because he has been woefully silent for a while now. Good old Ramon Ortiz, sometime back, was absolutely certain this was not going to happen. This trip was not going to happen. It was going to get called off. This is someone that comments on the regular and now is very loudly silent. It will be interesting to see what spin he comes up with when he takes his head out of the sand. Cali Rasta, uh, an expedition funded by a bunch of government shills. Thousands of unequivocal proofs we live on a level stationary world. Thousands? Thousands? 
Now, I recently went through someone's 200 proofs and every one of them was garbage. So tell me, of those thousands of proofs, does one of them explain a 24-hour Antarctic sun? Don't bother answering. We know the answer is no. Whale oil. Oh, look, he's trying to claim that uh, it took the flat earthers to finally get this type of expedition to happen. So are you ignorant of or just ignoring the fact that businesses like ALE have been doing these trips for years? And we all know you're just ignoring the fact that evidence of a 24-hour sun in Antarctica has been known and available for decades. This is just finally evidence you can't avoid. I mean, you will eventually avoid it and claim it didn't happen, but that will take a few years. Let's see, uh, G.B. Rockwell says, I need Jesus. Well, first off, no, I don't. Some people do. That's their call. Just not me. Secondly, obvious people, obviously people can have Jesus and still believe in a globe, so you need to come up with something else. Tom Busby, no curve measured? Well, not only do you know that's not true, you also know that you are trying to deflect from this glaring failure of your worldview. The same goes for uh, a man, user, a man like me. In another comment on a video, you listed a bunch of things that show the earth to be curved and ask uh, that other than these things, is there a method that you can use to measure? Other than the methods that prove flat earth wrong, what methods do you Globers have? Nicholas Allen is also doing the la 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 la, uh, it's flat performance and throws in a bunch of emojis and tells me to be humble. Not today, Nikki. Not today. See you later thinks there's some faking going on because the shadows are teal blue. Someone doesn't know how light works. Now, I have to think that Suzuki is a Pope because I can't believe this person doesn't understand how time zones work. Shiloh says, just wait until we make a hit piece on you. <laughs> Shiloh, for one, globe deniers already make hit pieces of people. And two, all you're saying is, since you can't win on the facts, you're going to drag people through the mud. Way to admit failure. Oh, wait, you weren't done. Uh, this was all a ruse, and now you're going to wow us with your celestial spheres model. Hey, the 4th century BC called Plato wants his model back. Oh, more Shiloh. Uh, why do I have to lie about it? Point out the lie, Shiloh. Am I a little man with a big ego? No, 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 no. I'm a big man with a big ego. Show some respect. And lastly, Tekra Tube says, I'm really milking this. Well, in the words of Walter White, You're goddamn right. That's my job! That's what I do! I don't lose! I win! I win! Is there no one on this planet to even challenge me? Maybe you came by to congratulate me on last night's victory. 